Okay, so this week is MOS skills training. Uh, MOS is the 12th November, which is a horizontal construction engineer. And so we're focused on basically back to the basics of operating our equipment that we have in 2CR. Um, right now we brought out our Hemi, our dozer, and our grader. <laughs> right, so the different positions that we have, like javelin positions, trenching, um, really stuff like that, so individual vehicle fighting positions, that's going to be two different pieces of equipment that's digging that stuff. So our iHemis, which the excavators, are going to be digging those, trenchings, like personnel fighting positions, javelin fighting positions, stuff like that. So the Hemi started out digging a javelin position. So uh, javelin is a weapon system. Another one that we don't typically dig often because a lot of our javelins are connected to the strikers themselves. But for this MOS skills training, we're trying to perfect every position that we can, we can dig. Um, so what you saw earlier, we were trying to dig the javelin fighting position to a depth where they can sit in it, have the rocket up where it's just the rocket and they have eyes on the vehicle, the glue locks in on it, shoots the rocket, and it's good from there. You have the one side where they actually fire the, the weapon, and the other side's where they keep their ammunition, their personal gear, what have you. Um, the dozer, which you see digging behind me right now, doing more like vehicle stuff, so vehicle fighting positions, whether that be survivability or the fighting just themselves. Okay, so the dozer is working on a vehicle fighting position. Um, they sometimes get confused between vehicle fighting positions and vehicle protective positions. And so I'm just trying to teach them the difference. And um, normally we hit the ground running and it's very fast, fast, fast. And so out here we're getting back to the basics and we're trying to perfect those positions and understand those positions uh, before we just kind of have to hit the ground running. You have to understand that when you're in the vehicle fighting position, they're using it to fight out of, okay? So it's not like they're going in and hiding. So I think today, let's focus on vehicle fighting You're going to go as long as the vehicle that you're trying to put in that hole, right? If you're fighting. So you've got the vehicle here, you've got the burn in front. Now what you want is you want that vehicle all the way underneath the ground as much as possible. So once you're done with the vehicle fighting position, the vehicle fits in there, the turret's above the mound, or you're doing a tier one and the turret's below it. It depends on what kind of they want and how protective they want to be too. From the side, you're basically going to have that three to one slope coming in, right? And then you want to get as deep, this is your ground level, ground, okay? And then you're digging, you're pushing up that dirt, you're digging, pushing up that dirt. You're going to continue to go down until that vehicle is completely at all or current up with. So what we're used to is they put ramps on both sides. It's that's a concealment position, it's not a fighting position. Um, so we're really just testing a new proof of concept to see if smashing this up works or if we have to figure out a different way to do it. Kind of what we're focusing on is the vehicle stuff, so like digging in the strikers into a striker unit. But in the field, we do more than just that. We do counter mobility. Um, mobility and survivability. So whether that's digging berms to block like vehicles from coming in on, on certain avenues of approach, berming as in like covering a perimeter so someone will make their CP, will berm around it for indirect fire, um, trenching for people fighting in that CP area, it gives them a spot to jump into for the IDF that's coming in. Uh, overall takeaway is that even our senior specialists that are out here that have operated for a very long time um, keep perfecting their craft and be able to take that into the future with them as uh, NCOs, as leaders in this MOS and be able to teach 
um, going forward. And then also our new privates that are out here that haven't necessarily gotten all the vehicles. We've got the grader out here. Basically for them to perfect and also like understand all the different kinds of positions that we mostly do with 2CR. So 2CR does a lot of combat digging. Um, so we don't have a whole lot of equipment other than to be able to combat dig with the Hemi and the Dozers. We do have a grader out here. Uh, grader does a lot of humanitarian work or road repair or airfield repair or even making UAS airstrips. Um, so they haven't had a lot of uh, knowledge or training on that side of um, being a 12 November and being, I guess, um, more diverse in their MOS. And so I'm showing them kind of uh, the different sides of if you're getting stationed to different duty stations that you could be doing different things with different equipment.